So, yeah, I, I, there's some thoughts that come to mind some where I can sure. push back. Um, so I could give the example of we can go into, um, yeah, we, we, yeah, the question for me is when, how are we, uh, I'll, first I'll say the thing I'm against, like, I don't want to use my power to uh, benefit myself at the expense of other humans. So as I put humans up, uh, in inside of this nature uh, category, but then I, but that's that's important, Gavin. That's okay. actually important to put humans inside the nature category is absolutely important to not making a critical mistake here. It's right. because when we think that we because if we think that if we consider ourselves not a part of nature, then that is the beginning of seeing it go wrong. And right. that is something that I think the, the the Christian worldview has mostly not ceased to feed. Say that, say that another way. I, I didn't get your point right there. That the it sounded like you had a criticism. Yeah, of you will you will hear <laughs> you will hear a lot of Christians talk about uh, about dominion as if it was a good thing, as if that were the proper understanding of our role. Okay, and when you say dominion, it's like. Uh, humans above uh, na above uh, everything else in nature at the top of of uh, like the hierarchy of Ru what is in nature ruling it ruler okay yeah and uh, here's how we know that's wrong how does Jesus rule does he rule by seizing dominion no see I'm not one of these people who's worried about everything. You got people like this around you, country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, every minute of the day, worried about everything. Worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about insecticides, pesticides, food additives, carcinogens. Worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? Saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It's arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, over, way over, 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. They're extinct. We didn't kill them all. They just disappeared. That's what nature does. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. And I mean regardless of our, our behavior. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? We're so self-important. So self-important. Everybody's going to save something now. Save the trees, save the bees, save the whales, save those snails. <laughs> and the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? <laughs> save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're going to save the fucking planet? I'm getting tired of that shit. Tired of that shit. Tired. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. People trying to make the world safe for their Volvos. Besides, environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. <laughs> Difference. Difference. The planet is fine. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. It's been here four and a half billion years. Did you ever think about the arithmetic? Planet has been here four and a half billion years. We've been here, what, 100,000? Maybe 200,000? And we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. And we have the conceit to think that somehow we're a threat? 
that somehow we're going to put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a-floating around the sun. The planet has been through a lot worse than us. Been through all kinds of things worse than us. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, hundreds of thousands of years of bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, tidal waves, worldwide fires, erosion, cosmic rays, recurring ice ages, and we think some plastic bags and some aluminum cans are going to make a difference? The planet... The planet... The planet isn't going anywhere. We are. We're going away. Pack your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace, either. Thank God for that. Proper way of being inside, this, this, uh, inside of nature. But I, I wanted to push back on this is where you can maybe develop some more nuance. I wanted to push back and talk about how like it seems like technology itself is it's always a kind of imposing some kind of power on nature, whether it's your house and your air conditioning system or if I'm going, I'm doing controlled fires out in the woods so we don't have wildfires. You know, we have these we're essentially like we're attempting to make nature more predictable, which, you know, when we're doing agriculture, we're making nature more predictable. And it ends up that predictability, there's always costs and benefits, but there's some benefits to, to, to try to trying to uh, make nature more predictable. Right. But, so in a way it is. So I see that as having power over nature. Um, and that's why I just made the distinction between like where I, I, I just I love humans. And so I when I try to have power over nature, it's for the, and my goal is for the benefit of humans, right? Sure. Yeah. So that's the yeah. only, that's kind of the nuance that I wanted to just point out and, and push back because when you say something originally, my mind's just like, well, what about these edge cases or, you know, this phrase that, where it's just, maybe you could, I heard something like it's, it's, it's perhaps bad or wrong or dangerous that we try to have power over nature. And that's where I just wanted to make sure I flush these kinds of things out you know, and try to develop more nuances about these, you know, these subcategories within nature and how they should relate to each other. Right. Yeah. So let me, let me, let me, and we might have some here. disagreements. I mean, it, I no, know I, I do. I, I do think, I, I think that, that it, it, there is something that is her, inherently disordered about having to hope to have ha, trying to have power well it depends i mean the word nature is such a um <laughs> it's a large category it's it, like it, when it, we it, talk it's, about it, climate change it's like what is the yeah climate? it's huge I, it's what does it not have what is right. not nature <laughs> now we're going to lighten up a little bit <laughs> we're going to go back to advertising and we're going to go on a little bullshit hunt a little bullshit hunt Got to look at some advertising lingo, especially food advertising. You know the people. Fresh, natural, hearty, old-fashioned, homemade goodness in a can. <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> so let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of these words. Old-fashioned. When you hear old-fashioned, you're supposed to think, oh, this goes back to the old days. Right. The old days before we had sanitation laws, before hygiene became popular, back when botulism was still considered a sauce. Homemade. You see homemade in the, in the restaurants too. Homemade soup. I don't care how much the amphetamine driven waitress with the Marlboro lines in her face reminds you of your mother. The soup is not homemade. Unless someone is living in the kitchen. And if that's the case, I want to get a good look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I want to check this guy for lesions, carbuncles, impetigo, pink eye, and ringworm. <laughs> and head lice. <laughs> and any time they add the word style to another word, someone is pulling your prick. <laughs> Old style goodness. What does that mean? Nothing. It means nothing. New York style deli means it's not located in New York. 
that's all it means, or they wouldn't have to say it in the first place. It's located in Calgary, and the owner is from Hong Kong. And the food tastes like things that the Bangladeshis throw away. Family-style restaurant. You know what that means? It means there's an argument going on at every table. Two people are crying, and the eldest male is punching the women. Family-style. Family-style. Then you have gourmet. Here's another word the advertising cretins have completely wiped their asses with. <laughs> gourmet. Gourmet dining in a cup. <laughs> gourmet cuisine in a can. By the way, whenever you hear cuisine in place of food, be prepared to pay an extra 80%. <laughs> gourmet rolls, gourmet coffee, gourmet pizza. These things do not exist. You want to know a gourmet food? Toasted snail penises. <laughs> Candied moose balls. Deep dish yak dick. <laughs> gourmet. It's the same with buttery and lemony and chocolatey. Real chocolatey goodness. You know what that means? No fucking chocolate. <laughs> And beware when they add the word flavored to another word. Lemon flavored drink. No fucking lemons. Now, one more food word before I completely change the subject on you. Natural. This is directed to all you health food fiends and environmental nitwits and yuppie cocksuckers who are running around in your natural fibers. Your natural fibers. The word natural is completely meaningless. Everything is natural. Nature includes everything. It's not just trees and flowers. It's everything. A chemical company's toxic waste is completely natural. It's part of nature. We're all part of nature. Everything is natural. Dog shit is natural. <laughs> It's just not real good food.